All right, y'all, welcome back. Um, it's been about five months since we uploaded our last video. Sometimes work gets in the way and you have to focus on adult things, but we're back. Hopefully, uh, we'll be able to get in a good time rhythm again. What we're going to tie tonight, this is a late fall uh, caddis. It's called the October caddis. Uh, it's a great fly, um, especially uh, if you're in the Pacific Northwest. Uh, what we're tying on tonight, this is a standard dry fly in a size 12 thread that we're tying with is a dark brown in a 6.0. Uh, we're going to come in about two hook eyes back, lay down a nice basic thread. We're going to bring it back almost to the hook point. We're going to come in and clean that out. Then we're going to come in with a piece of wire. And we're going to use a silver and extra small uh, for this one. Like most dry flies, you want to keep them as light as possible. Hopefully, everybody's been doing good. Uh, before we go any further, on, if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and take a second, pause the video, and subscribe to the channel. Uh, we're usually pretty good about putting out videos and putting out good content. Uh, we're going to come in, catch in our wire. I left a little bit extra there so I could dog ear it back. Come back down to the bend. Uh, for our body, we're going to use orange two millimeter foam and catch that in right across the top tie it in good and secure work our way back up to our original tying point <laughs> don't want to stretch this too thin uh, I'm gonna use that to help float the fly we're gonna catch it in real good come in and clean it out now for our uh, hackle on this one, we're gonna use a rooster hackle in dry fly in furnace. Nice contrasting color to that orange. We're gonna come in, catch it in on its side. Two in the front, one in the back. One more in the back to grow on. One in the front. We're gonna take one full wrap in the front before we start palmering back. I'm going to get away from you. Catch that with our wire. Speed through here. Don't take your time. If you take your time, you're usually going to trap more fibers. Once you get up here to the hook eye, I'm going to go ahead and wrap that up all the way to the hook eye. I want this to be a durable fly. It's going to take a lot of fish. Go ahead and helicopter that out. Come in and trim this butt piece out. Now at this point you can come in and you can clip these all flat across the top. That'll help with controlling the pitch of your wing. Uh, I usually just kind of smash them down a little bit. Um, six half dozens of the other. Uh, I don't mind if I have a little bit steeper wing. For the wing, uh, instead of using a bleach del care, we're gonna use this uh, grayish dun. This is natural color. Uh, looks pretty good. Uh, this is also going to be the difference between spring and fall. Spring, you want to use a bleach del care, and later in the year, you want to use a dark one. Got a little bit of a stuffy nose between the allergies and the smoke, and now there's a dust storm out here today. It is all over the place. I'm going to come in and measure. I'm going to change hands. I'm going to pinch that real tight. Loose wrap, two loose wraps. Hold it tight across the top of the hook. Pull straight up. Now help control that roll. And we're going to advance through. Come in, clip this out. Get rid of any of those stragglers. Pull it all to the rear one more time. Build up a nice head. Put 
quick finish. And like all of my dry flies, you guys have seen me do, I won't put any head cement on there. I'll let the whip finish take care of it. If this was going out to somebody, that'd be different, uh, but it's good enough for who it's for. And that's it. That's all there is to the October Caddis. I'll tell you some of them up, show it to your friends. Uh, hopefully you guys are doing well. Uh, like I said in the beginning, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, Go check us out on Instagram and Facebook. And if there's anything you guys ever want to see, uh, I, I'm back online and I'm uh, back into tying. So go ahead and leave it in the comments below. And until next time.